can't read and write, you can't live like everybody else does. And I didn't find out until I was in the third grade that there was something wrong with me. My dream uh, for a career was to be an inventor, and that happened. But the dream underneath that dream, the dream that drives you, I searched for a place of dignity, and I searched for a place that I might be accepted. This community has accepted me. We make screens for hydroelectric plants, wastewater, stormwater, flood control. Mostly we take debris out of uh, liquid. I must say that he stands out in terms of not only being wonderfully successful in his business, but then being able to give back to the community. Over the years, Terry has mentored so many people in so many different areas with respect to business and just being a good human being. He started a program uh, called The Class. I teach uh, an entrepreneurship class and uh, it's mostly just how entrepreneurs think. He doesn't come from the perspective of being a college graduate. He comes from life's perspective, you know, of having that dream that impacts a lot of people's lives. I thought that was just fascinating. You get a group of individuals together and they begin to explore not how other people can help them, but how they can help other people. Terry helped this uh, lady, Priscilla, come to the U.S., learn about how to further teach these uh, kids with disabilities, brought her back to Ghana, and then helped her, helped her to set up the Duperon Center for young kids with disabilities. And that was just, in my mind, remarkable. I have a, a class in Ghana at a university there, and I got a dyslexic center there, so you never know where life takes you if you let it. I'm involved in the Dyslexic Foundation. That's dear to my heart, and my daughter really likes the Can Console. So those are probably two of the main ones that we do with this. And there's a number of other ones as well. An award like this means a great deal to Terry because he's, he didn't get any high school awards, he didn't get any college awards, he didn't get those kind of things. I think that, you know, being dyslexic, you kind of look at life a little different. And if, if you can make a difference in somebody else's life, I would prefer to do that. Yeah.